Hi, Susan Clare here, Gourmet Quilter. I have a, a tutorial. I've been away for a little while um, and I have a very temporary studio. Um, we've just got a quilt hanging up here, so it's a, just a little bit temporary. Uh, but I thought I'd show you a little fun idea that I had. I have some fabrics that I have actually left from another project and I thought it would be really nice to make something made fairly quick and easy. So I've made up a block like this. Now I'm sure that there's other blocks around that are using a similar sort of technique, but this is what I came up with. So what I have got here is a series of colors. You can see I've got the blocks up here behind me so that we end up with this sort of checkerboard coming down. So the quilt can actually be made in columns. It doesn't have to be made in blocks. Blocks just makes it manageable. So what I ended up doing was finding that I had some strips of fabric that I could cut to be eight and a half inches wide um, full width of fabric so it's like quarter of a yard because that's nine inches so if we can cut them eight and a half inch wide of your colors and then this little black and white stripe that I have here I've cut into two and a half inch strips and then I've stitched the two and a half inch strip onto the eight and a half inch so I now have a ten and a half inch wide strip so my blocks will be ten and a half inches measuring so they'll finish as a 10 inch block. So I've done a few colors and I've got some ready here. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how I go about cutting those. So I've joined my strips onto um, all these different colors. So I've ended up choosing some, what I've called lighter and darker. So my blues are all a bit stronger. And then I've got them sort of bluey greeny colors, which are all a bit lighter. So I've got half and half, which works well for me and I'm just going to stack these so that we can cut them all in one go. So you can line this up with the lines on your board so that things are sitting fairly straight to start with and if you just offset this seam you don't get the bulk of a seam sitting over it there. So I'll just stack these just so that everything is just offset. Try and keep things as straight as you can and this way you can stack, well, if, if you're going to make it into blocks like I have, you can stack five colors at a time, but of course the colors may change. You don't have to only use a limited number of colors. It could be great for using all sorts of colors. So I've got five stacked there. These are all staggered, these seams, so nothing's sitting on top, so it's not too bulky. And I've lined it up sitting nice and straight with my board. So I'll be using the lines on the board to help me. And so I'm just going to trim off that end there so that we're nice and tidy on a line. And then I can just come across two and a half inches and cut as many strips as I would like to cut from my width. So in fact, you do get 16 two and a half inch strips out of a width of fabric. So that may help you if you're calculating for a different size quilt. What I've worked out is that if you have eight colors, eight, eight and a half inch strips and eight of your, I'm using a stripe. It doesn't have to be a stripe, of course. I've chosen to use that consistently throughout. And um, so with eight colors, you will get 25 blocks. So the blocks are measuring 10 and a half inches. So finished, they'll be 10 inches. So 25 would give you a nice square quilt of five by five, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, a nice lap quilt perhaps, but if you're wanting to make, to use this idea and go on and make a larger quilt, every time you add another color, so another eight and a half inch plus the two and a half inch strip, you can then add in a, three more blocks. So I've said that I've got eight colors and I've got 25 blocks. If you have nine colors, you're going to get 28 blocks. It goes up in threes. So that gives you a bit of an idea if you're wanting to make um, something a bit larger. So then when I'm joining these together, I'm just alternating my colors and the direction of where the strips are. Let's get these out of the way now. And I've got the five strips to give myself a square block. As I said, you can just keep going in columns um, and that's absolutely fine. I've just chosen to do it this way because it's easier for me to work with at the moment. Um, and then they just need joining together. So just all quarter inch seam allowances, nothing hard about all this. 
So I've got another couple of blocks that I've finished here and I've got one here nearly finished. So I thought I would just stitch that last row on, last strip on and press it. And then I can pop these up and talk to you a little bit more about how we put the colors together as well. So great fun, especially if you've got some quarter yard pieces of fabric. So I've got my quarter inch foot on so that I get a nice quarter inch seam. can press that block so we do need to put keep an eye on when we're putting the fabrics together into the blocks you need to have some blocks that have three strong colors in and well in my case lights and darks they could just be different colors but because I've used my blues are stronger so you need to have three strong colors and then you need to have some blocks that have you alternate them with the blocks that have three light colors. So, so that we can, when we put them together, you get that nice little checkerboard effect where I've got the little stripe. Now the stripe wouldn't have to be a stripe. It could be a plain color. It could be a strong color. It could be black. It could be white. It could be pretty much anything you like, really. So I'll just put these up so that you can start seeing what it looks like when you get more blocks together. So when I put these ones up here, I've got the strong color with the, with the stripe at the end, the light color with the stripe at the right, the strong color with the stripe at the right. So when we do the second row, we want to turn them around. We want the stripe at the left, and this is the light colored block. So we're alternating. So we've got three lights in here and two darks and three darks in here and two lights. So fairly straightforward as long as you remember to turn them all around. So this row all comes round this way round with a little stripe at the end and my portable work board is flapping a little bit. And so you can see you could add in loads of colours, you could make lots of quilts because it's a 10 inch block, it's a nice size, it's quick and easy. You could have a whole lot of fun I think with a, with a block like that. So that was my idea for today. I hope you enjoyed and maybe I'll see some of the things you make with it. Thank you.